Hello and welcome to this short video of the RESTful workshop within Oracle Apex. So if I go into SQL Workshop, you'll find RESTful services. Now at this stage, I haven't REST enabled this schema at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and install the sample service. By REST enabling a schema, what you're doing is you're providing REST endpoints that then can be utilized by any other application. So if we have a look at this sample here, we've got our modules, we've got a definition here for HR and under HR for example we have employees and there's a get method let's have a quick look at that you'll see that it's just selecting all the records from the employee table if we have a look at this template here you'll see that it's actually taking an input of ID and there's two resource handlers underneath that get to return a single record and then the put to be able to update a record so I'm just going to grab this code because I want to actually go and add a third handler here being the delete. So let me just change that to delete, post in that previous code, and I'm just going to change this to be delete amp. And create that handler. Now if we go up to employees, you'll notice that we don't have a post. And so again, I'm going to create a new handler and it's already specified as post and I'm just going to go and grab the code rather than doing a lot of typing so all I'm doing is inserting into AMP these columns with these values and then returning the status as we would expect so at this point we can actually send out this URL that we can see here and we can utilize that in other applications to build components if we choose to this allows developers to build applications on these underlying database objects within this schema that you've just REST enabled. Thank you very much for watching this video.